G'day everyone, Jamie Chapman for another episode of 3 Minute Histology. Today we're going to continue our look at the epidermis and actually um, have a little bit more detailed analysis of the cell types which are found in the different layers. Now the last video was a bit tricky to actually talk about um, the finer details of the different sub layers that make up the epidermis. So this video is sort of an extension of the previous video and we're going to focus on uh, cell types that you can identify within uh, the different layers. Again, uh, we're using this um, uh, resin section because it's really lovely and gives us a nice resolving picture. Um, and then if we've got time, we'll try to have a look at a paraffin section. So let's get going. So if you watched the other video, you saw that the epidermis, this is the epidermis. We've got a magnified view here. Sorry, I've, I've zoomed in a lot. So this is thick skin and this is a, re a resin section. So the resolution is really lovely. Um, so we can actually subdivide the uh, epidermis into four or five layers. So we've got the stratum basal, which is where our mitosis happens, and all of the cells that make up the rest of the uh, epidermis actually originate from, the stem cells within the stratum basal here. Then we have the stratum spinosum, the stratum granulosum, and these three layers make up the living cell layers of the epidermis, stratum basal, spinosum, granulosum. The cells undergo cell death here. You can actually see that they lose their organelles, the nucleus degenerates, and we end up with basically these membranes filled with keratin. Um, and this layer here is the stratum lucidum, which eventually becomes the stratum corneum, and then these cells uh, are shed from the surface here. So found within, um, these are predominantly keratinocytes, these are the uh, skin cells, uh, but we can find non-keratinocytes in these various sublayers. Now one of those which I've already mentioned are the melanocytes, and this is actually a really nice uh, picture of one here, so I'll just sort of show you a magnified view. Um, sorry, you can sort of zoom in here. Um, so this uh, cell type here sort of zoom in. You can see the nucleus and you can see its cytoplasm and it's got sort of long long arms. It's often described as being a dendritic cell because it has uh, dendrite-like cytoplasmic extensions and it uses these to actually connect with surrounding keratinocytes and it passes on the melanin that it produces. So the melanocytes produce melanin pass it on to the surrounding keratinocytes and we end up with these keratinocytes with this very brown pigment in the stratum basal early layers of the stratum spinosum. Uh, so this is the first of the uh, non-keratinocytes. Another type of non-keratinocyte which we may see, uh, although it's very difficult to, to distinguish uh, histologically, um, just through normal H&E standing conditions, are Merkel cells. These are mechanoreceptors that detect light touch. So they're often associated with a uh, axon, a sensory axon, afferent axon, um, that detects deformation of the epidermis, which it detects as light touch. If we zoom out sort of uh, into the sort of stratum spinosum, if we zoom around, um, sometimes we might be able to see the third uh, non keratinocyte that we can find within the uh, epidermis, and that is known as the Langerhans cell. Langerhans cells are dendritic cells, part of the innate immune system. They have long cytoplasmic processes that form networks. They can phagocytose any invading microorganism. They can then leave the skin and actually go to immune cell and act as antigen presenting cells there. So again, that was another very quick overview of some of the cell types which we can see within the epidermis. Uh, hopefully you found that useful. Stay tuned for other videos on the skin and the integumentary system. So we'll see you then. Hooroo!